When did you decide that you wanted to start a cult? I decided I wanted to start a cult. Um, it was probably when I was about eight years old. My mom always used to get me to water the plants in her lettuce garden. And every time I went there, usually around August, there was just a huge spike in the slug population that would just sort of gather around the lettuce patch. And I would see all of these slugs gathered sort of in a circular formation. And they all seemed to be on the same page. And I just said to myself, that is the definition of perfection. What a lot of people don't take into account when starting a cult is that people aren't slugs and slugs aren't people. So the things that, you, that might be easier, you can't just wave a piece of lettuce in front of a group of people and they're not gonna go after it, unfortunately. Usually when I'm looking for people who are likely to join my cult, I usually look at eight-year-olds, but also older than that, um, like all the way to 89-year-olds. Once you hit 90, you usually get a bit frail and you're not really willing to participate in some of the more you know, athletic activities I have going on. Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to join my cult. What? Do you want to join my cult? It's on yes. Wednesdays. Wednesday? Yeah. It's for what? Um, it's for all of us. Uh, it's a party? It's or? a cult. Um, yeah. Next Wednesday, and it's going to be the Wednesday after that as well. Uh, it's just on Wednesdays I do yoga. Have a great evening. In order to get people to come to that first meeting, they have to be approached initially by someone who looks approachable, who looks friendly enough, and that usually starts with a smile, with a handshake, and maybe even just like a, hey, how's your day going? And usually that, that isn't enough to get people to come to your cult, but it's at least enough to start a conversation. And, you know, one thing leads to another, and they're part of my cult. Hello? Hello? Hi. Do you guys live here? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. you have the, um, do you know, do you want to join my cult? When? Uh, it's on Wednesdays, and I hope to see you there. Okay. Okay. I've had a total of two meetings so far. Uh, the first one went very well. We talked about some great, well, I talked about some great things, unfortunately. Um, nobody showed up, but that's okay because to start a cult, you can't really expect huge numbers at the beginning. Um, but we did have a meeting the next Wednesday and that went even better. And uh, I did happen to have someone else show up. Um, they didn't speak English. Um, they thought it was the laundry room, so that was sort of a complication, but I think she did learn some some things. Uh, I think it was a he. He definitely learned some things. I I had I sort of had to fold laundry as I was talking to them, just so I didn't really give away the fact that it wasn't the laundry room. I brought a couple shirts because I knew that would happen. Um, but yeah, it went well. I'm looking forward to next Wednesday. Um, I I'm not sure if that person's going to show up again, but I'm willing to see what happens. So. I'm wearing this one because I'm the leader. They don't have the um, the privilege yet to wear um, the one that I'm wearing. And also, in my cult, the higher your rank, the more spirit animals you get. And each color symbolizes a spirit animal. And they only have one because they just started. So that's basically. Also, it's a great turnout tonight. I'm pretty satisfied. So why did you decide to come to the meeting? Well. Joey seems like a nice guy and I don't know, I don't have tons of friends and I've heard cults are have cool people so I thought I would come, maybe have like a out of body experience or something. Why did you decide to come to this meeting? Laundry? Laundry? No, no, this is a, a cult meeting. Oh, okay. So, uh... You guys want some Kool-Aid? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you may put on your blankets.
Great work, guys. <laughs> Today's meeting went really well. I thought um, we had a pretty good turnout. About five people showed up, uh, not including me. That's about two. And we had, uh, we had some good conversations, really making an impact in people's lives. And I feel like people were definitely moved. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the future holds. And I can't wait to see this cult become a legitimate religion.